Aquarius, you are up for the May Tarot Love Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. As I always say, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your life better than I ever could. The general readings are already up. I may pick up some of that same energy or I may pick up totally different timelines. Like I said just a second ago, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I have five decks. I may use all five or I may use just a few. I want to start with this one though. So let me do this one, which is a Soul Connections deck. May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? For May, in regards to love. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Two cards came out. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, dreams. Okay. So bottom of the deck is dreams. And it says, share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. First card that came out, it says, your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. And it's interesting that it's saying that. Because this is piggybacking off of this. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, trust the process. Mercury is going retrograde on the 10th. So some of you who may have dealt with someone before, it may be coming back around more than likely during this Mercury retrograde season. And also, don't forget, we have a full moon in Scorpio, too. Some of you might be looking for a second chance with someone else or someone else might be looking for a second chance with you. Now, the second card that came out is guilt. It says, don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. So they may have possibly treated you bad during the previous relationship or you may have treated them bad is what may have happened. Regardless, it seems like that another opportunity is coming around for, the, for you to connect with this other soul again is what I'm picking up. Because it's not saying your soul is preparing to connect. It's saying your soul is preparing to reconnect. So that means someone from the past. And I might title this that your soul is preparing to reconnect and do that. Hmm. I'm curious. Let me. I want to get my tarot deck here. May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? May I have the energy for Aquarius for May 2022 in regards to love? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? 
What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? That card fell down. I'm going to take it. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Wow. And something took. So I have two cards that fell down when I was doing the shuffle. When I split it in three and I was putting it on there, the card hit this card and knocked it over there. I don't know what any of these cards are. So that's interesting. And this card was knocked towards the soul card. I don't believe in coincidences in tarot. I know some people are like, oh, well, no, it was just a mistake. And that's just how it happens sometimes. And blah, 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 blah. I don't believe in coincidences in tarot. So I'm curious what this is. Hangman. Pisces energy. Some of you are hesitant about this. Also, some of you, there may have been something with the sacrifice that happened too. As well. Some of you wanted to reach out. Someone wanted to reach out, but they didn't. Hangman energy. Because they were feeling guilty. Either you were feeling guilty or they were feeling guilty. Is what was going on. So it was tied up. These two cards that fell at the bottom, let's see what they are. The first one is the four of wands. So definitely commitment. The other one is the knight of wands as well. So there's a lot of passion between you and this individual. There's a whole, whole, whole lot of passion. Maybe with this particular relationship, when you were together with them, it was more about the passion instead of all the other stuff that comes with it. But it was a very passionate relationship. And it didn't work out. And somebody wanted to reach back out, but they didn't. But I have a feeling that's about to change, especially with the saying the soul is about to reconnect. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Wands. So this is a taking charge. Also, Queen of Wands is an attractive energy. Again, a lot of fire energy here. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or it could be in the charts for either one of you. But there, all of these cards except one, out of the four cards, all of these are, are um, fire cards. So this was a very, very passionate relationship. And you're about to reconnect. What's under the Queen of Wands so we can see together? What is that? That is the Ace of, what is this? Ace of, wow, Ace of Wands. What did I tell you? This, they, somebody wants a new start. And this is a passionate relationship. Like, off the charts, I just heard Basic Instinct. <laughs> off the charts, passionate. <laughs> like, you two, you really... When you get together, you get together. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not judging. Go ahead and make it do what it do. But yeah, this is a really passionate relationship. They want another star or you want another star. One of the two. But whoever wants the start, the reason they haven't pursued it is because of guilt. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But looking at this, that person, they may not be receptive. The reason I'm saying that is because the Ace of Wands plus the Queen of Wands plus the Knight of Wands, which is three wands, plus the Four of Wands is the Seven of Wands. That person, they may not be feeling it. What's under this? The lovers is under the Ace of Wands. I told you. This is some passion right here. And lovers is the um, choice card, but also it's Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. This person may not be receptive or you may not be receptive. 
I'm telling you right now. If they're given a choice, they may say no. What's under the uh, under the lovers? The star. That's your energy. Somebody wants to heal this relationship, Aquarius, and I feel that it is you. Now, going back to soul, maybe you realize this is a soul connection because, again, it says your soul is preparing to reconnect. What's under the star card? Nine of swords. Somebody has really been in their head. I'm going back to hangman energy because of the guilt. What's under the nine of swords? The will of fortune. You might get lucky. There might be something divine about this. Because again, this says it's a soul connection. So they may at first be kind of apprehensive because you know the saying, once bitten, twice shy. They might be in that energy. But after a while, it is a possibility that they might come around or vice versa. If this is you where they're coming towards you, then you may eventually come around. But I don't feel that it's going to be right out the box. I don't feel that you're going to, if they come back, where you're going to be like, oh, hi, yeah, let's get started back up. No, I don't see that energy at all. And the, and the same thing with them. I don't feel they're going to be like that. They're probably going to be given the side eye. Just saying. But that's what this is. A passionate, I'm going to title this a passionate reconnection. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.